Start your topic, because you're now recording. Huh? Start the rook start. Start the topic. <laughs> what up, New Gaming Order? Whew, hell of a director's cut. We had a good discussion on the intermission. So, the next topic at hand is... Okay. Consoles. The future. A lot of the folks are saying, hey, that we may not be... Yeah, well, that's another another thing but playstation app <laughs> well, that's, this is app. true but xbox app playstation app yeah but no. with that um there's a a lot of folks are predicting that we're gonna go to disc less format and you know one of the microsoft execs or former microsoft execs uh stated that yeah we're gonna go away from physical media and you know i'm bringing this up because i want to know what are some pros and cons to this and for me, like, okay, I remember years ago, uh, I forget if it was Sega or Capcom, one of those companies were talking about, it. you know, we had to raise the price on games from $49.99 to $59.99 because of press the disc and all this other stuff. If we go to a disc-less format, Bullshit. the cost of games should come down like oh, yeah, they, they are on, uh, on Steam. 100%. Right, because you're not manufacturing anymore. You're doing digital distribution. You're already cutting out the middle people in terms of GameStop and whatnot. You know mm -hmm. what? What does that, you know, mean for uh, little mom and pop shops and things of that nature? So we already know that the codename NX is supposed to be like a digital only. You know, it's, it's not going to have an optical drive as some of the rumors state. But I just wanted to know what everybody's thoughts are in going and possibly after this gen. Uh, because you know, even all, offline, we were talking about, or, or free play mode said, "Hey, hey, this console generation might not make it to ten years." You know what I mean? And we might see this technology come a bit sooner than we're expecting. But with that, I just wanted to open the floor with uh, the Mizzle from on uh, from free play mode. And you know, what are your thoughts and predictions on this? Pros, cons, and where are we going with uh, the future of consoles? If well, any. Well, I think. Um that we will eventually see a discless console but it won't be the next generation it'll be the generation after the the next one okay. because um as it stands i don't as you said um we were talking offline i don't think this current console generation with the playstation 4 and xbox one will be 10 years due to the consoles being vastly underpowered when they were released Mm -hmm. keep, keep in mind, like when Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 were released, they were essentially not top of the top of the line, but they were still pretty new technology in terms of computing. Like those were the first consoles to deal with multi-core processors, and those were just coming out and being affordable on the PC market. But as it turns out right now, eight-core processors that are in the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are very common. I run an eight core processor in my computer and only paid a, about $179 for that. So it's Wait, not AMD. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like it's a top of the line console in either direction. So I don't think we're going to see PlayStation 4 or Xbox One being 10 years. I say at best, they'll be six years. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see the next Microsoft and Sony machines. It'll be it'll be less than that. Can I go next, please? So, okay, sure, sure. When the missile's done, I, I think we're gonna see the next console generation still use optical media. We'll see optical media g bump up from 50 gigs to 128 or 256 gigs on a disc, mm. and maybe after that, when SD card prices fall to a significant point where they can be mass produced to the point where because right now a blu-ray disc only costs like less than a dollar to manufacture whereas a hundred and twenty eight gig sd card costs about five dollars to manufacture mm -hmm. so and you know what that made me think about the nx they're talking about using some sort of large size sd to distribute uh some of its titles so see i don't think the nx is going to be uh, mostly digital I think it will use SD cards and mm -hmm. as I said on a previous podcast like not the one before this one but the one before the last one is that 
they're going too fast. The the technology is there, but it's not affordable. So it's mm. gonna cost. It's they're gonna fall into the same trap that they fell into with uh, the Nintendo 64, just in the opposite direction. Whereas mm-hmm. the Nintendo 64 was outdated using co- cartridges, mm-hmm. they're going to be too ahead of the curve in terms of technolo- affordable technology with SD cards, and mm-hmm. it's going to cost them too much to produce a game. Whereas Sony mm-hmm. and Microsoft on the next generation, even though 128 gig Blu-ray discs will still be fairly new, it'll mm-hmm. still cost less to manufacture than an SD card. And you have a good point. I, I, I definitely concur with that. All right, so uh, I wanted to um, go, Ken. You wanted yes. to go next. Your, your thoughts on uh, possible? I, I, I don't agree. I think it'll be less, and, and I think it'll be forceful this next generation when they decide to do it. Uh, uh-huh. I believe these consoles are probably like five to ten year consoles. Yeah. Right. But the next generation is, is almost pretty much a wrap, right? AMD and Nvidia, especially with the discovery of high bandwidth memory, have been able to make graphics cards this big. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're talking that they're running 4K games off of these tiny, tiny little cards, right? So that's what's coming next year for PC. So if that's coming next year for PC, then you know what's coming for the consoles the next six years or five years. Holy those things, shit! Those yeah. things are going to be. <laughs> uh, let me get in on this next. So, uh, yeah, yeah. so like, so like the price of graphics cards are going to come down, and the price of solid state storage or um disk storage in general has come down drastically i'm okay. talking it, when we used to be at like three dollars a gig for solid state storage we're we're like under a dollar mm-hmm. you know so so you'll see things like the console is getting smaller and more powerful and they yeah. won't need they won't need there won't be a need to have um discs well, mm-hmm. well so i can see the sd storage being uh, a viable thing uh, mm-hmm. Oh, what about the Nvidia Shield? Like, it's supposed right. to, depending on your connection, that you know, that to me was right. like a precursor. Right. Remember, of remember, product. remember that they're still doing cloud gaming, right? So potentially, you have two, you have two avenues here. So you technically don't even need SD storage if you're running servers that can stream the games. PS Now, right? Which mm-hmm. is basically their beta for the next console. And same thing with Xbox being able to stream, we can kind of see what the idea for the next console is. And they're just kind of getting a feel for how much people are going to be using this thing and say, all right, this is the direction for the next console. Alex, next I got to jump I, in I, there. I don't right think we can spend any more money. No, no actually, uh, Playboy, I called next, but like after Playboy, then you can jump. Yeah, but yeah, I don't want anybody just cutting. I'm, I'm yeah, putting so, my quarter up on the on the thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right, go so ahead. Stor- storage has come down drastically, right? So. The, the cheaper SSDs um, become, the cheaper disk becomes, right? So we're talking, we have six terabyte drives now. And they're very, you can, you can buy them. They're like the price of what we used to pay for the one terabyte drive, right? You can get a one terabyte drive for 60 to 80 bucks now. Sometimes even less if you get a good ass deal. So three terabytes is only like $110. So you're, you're, you know, consoles are going to be able to have these type of things with smaller graphics cards and smaller chipsets on the boards. So I think the next generation console, when you see it, they can all be discless, especially when you're streaming games from servers in the cloud. Right. So that, okay. that's my take on it. I, but very good points. I'm impressed with uh, you know the info that you guys brought. Uh, Playboy, you want to chime in on this? To, to answer your question, is, is look at the future of mobile technology. Samsung next year will bring out their new um, memory storage. Um, so now phones are going to have, um, what's that? Weapon? Oh, uh, no, Samsung is going to have, um, I have feedback in my headsets. Um, Samsung is, is bringing out their new, um, their new storage for their, for, for their, for their phones next year. So now you're going to have cell phones having upwards up to six gigs of RAM and a new form of, um, flash storage. So okay. there, I mean, it's, it's, it's. What we're talking about now is right now really is previous generation consoles have the the burden of of when they when they go into R and D, you mm-hmm. go into R and D at that specific time frame now. So the next quote unquote next generation are um are being developed using technology that's available like now. Yeah, they're locked in. Yeah, they're locked in. Whereas you know, mobile, the mobile platform is an ever constant moving, evolving 
and going and coming to market platform, which is not which is not a sustainable business model for console gaming. So that's why I'm very, you know, I that's why I'm like at, after my PlayStation 4, I'm I'm done with consoles. I'm I'm sticking to the PC mobile platform and just I'm just I'm just gonna keep it there. Because, Get to a point where Shut the hell up, Chris. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting to the point where it's just, you know, it's just becoming a money pit. Uh-huh. Console. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Now, uh, Demizzle, you wanted to chime in real quick, and then I'm going to give on your niece his, uh, his chance. Go ahead. All right. Um, in response to what uh, Goken said, um, the reason why I don't think um, disc, another reason why I don't think disc are going away with the next console is because of the uh, North America, it's the uh, it's still on the copper standard of internet delivery, whereas Europe and Asia are by and large on fiber optics. We still do not have fiber optics as our primary source of internet delivery in this country, mm -hmm. and in this country, only fifty percent of it has access to viable high speed internet. Yeah. So digital distribution is not a viable option in the largest market, which is stupid. Oh, but what if they do that high d density uh, SD card setup? I mean, that could be another well, way. They're gonna have high density storage. Is high density yeah, storage as well. high de high density storage is great, but the cost still will be, it still won't be a cost effective for another like three or four years after the next console generation you, comes you out. You have to see on it. You, you have to see like I, I get to see the enterprise side of, of technology. Oh, yeah. So do I. And mm -hmm. storage and you you have to understand. Storage. Is oh, I get cheap. to see it. I, yes. I get to see it too. It, when you order it in bulk, yes, storage. No, but is it's still cheap. cheap. <laughs> it's still cheap. They're they're at almost three terabytes on SSDs for enterprise storage. Okay. Oh, I know. It, 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 like, it's very expensive for at that level. But a year from now, it's going to be dirt cheap for a consumer. The consumer version. No. Of that. Like you know, what, Nintendo. Customer. I think Nintendo's jumping the gun. They should have waited and like. like uh, no. Only, uh, you, you just, whenever you want to innovate, you got to pull the trigger. You can't like. Wait. But like, Nintendo um, can't afford to do that right like, now. As it the, as it know. stands, there are consumer uh, three terabyte solid states out there, and they cost about twelve hundred dollars. Oh like, yeah, they're, they're expensive, but that price is, will come down. And oh, it it'll come it'll come. It'll but, come down, but, now, but it's, 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 it's not going to be like it's, it's, we have to wait ten years before it's a couple hundred dollars. But like you said, it's like you said, it's the it's your infrastructure aggregate, you know, trying to deliver the content to this. You know, you say you're talking about cloud gaming, cloud this, cloud that. Like you say, you just you just answered your own question. You know, the United States does not have the aggregate infrastructure, you know, to deliver, you know, all this content. With the current, well, are you sure about that? Because PS now, like PS now is in beta, no, right? If we put no, up PS I'm now, no, no PS now is not in beta. Yeah, PS now, that's now. a full it's fledged. Not, I consider it. I consider it still beta because no, it's not is, the final final product. We'll see. No, I, no I'm not. I'm not talking, I'm talking about the delivery content, the aggregate content, your bandwidth. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that here in America. If you go, if you go outside of your urban centers, outside of the Northeast corridor, where all your OC two fifty no no your 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 OC one ninety twos are at you know you if you go to flyover country you don't have that you know it's not it's not yeah. all standard yet so yeah, that's I mean, yeah I mean and 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 and, and 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 you have the telecoms and the cable companies their excuse is well America is so big and Korea is so small blah 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 you yeah know? I've heard that too but, you know but, same thing with Japan like they like but, they can do that because they don't have as much land to cover. Well, well, let me take this wanna, in another they direction. Wanna, they, I had to have the cable. I had to have Xfinity come replace the 22 year old coax cable that they had <laughs> running from my house just the other day. Okay. And but, they, well, but for for you to get the I understand the telecom companies don't want to assume all the costs okay but yet, to do yeah, it they well, want see their, the, they the want federal the federal folks are going to have to get involved to right so the no, 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 i'll take that no 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 listen the copper that's in the ground now has already been paid for by you and me that's already been paid for the right. telecoms are just leasing it real right you know? but the fiber but to put no, fiber infrastructure but, they don't want to no, pay for it no no go can see here's the thing a lot of people don't know this but the federal government has subsidized uh, placement of fiber optic cables by I was Verizon just, I was and all the that. telecoms. Yeah. But 
But they still all want the, us to pay no, for it. What I'm saying no, is they want no, us no, to no. pay for it. No, yeah. it's already been paid for. The excuse why they are not running it is because Ryzen and other telecoms have made a deal with Cox and Xfinity yeah. yes. to not run it because Pause. they don't want Cox and Xfinity to get into the telephone business. So they yeah, made they a made deal it. with Verizon to not to not get into the telephone if, business if, if so, Verizon will stay in, out of the high speed internet. Let's say you lived in a community and all of you wanted fiber, okay? They wanted we, you. you we got, would ha we would have to do like that one town did in the Midwest yeah, and run it ourselves. Well, well, so, but, 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 but the net, net result is Verizon will tell you that. Well, you're you know you guys are gonna have to pay X amount for us to do it. They'll still try to charge you for it, regardless of what. No, they, Verizon will actually All right. sue hey, you. Guys, for guys, let me let me let me, let me wait, take wait, let me wait, take wait, let me wait, take wait, on wait, this, wait, man. Hey, time time. Who, let, who is next? Uh, look, look, I haven't gone yet, man. All right, I'm, go I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this back to gaming, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't like this. I don't like this at all, man. I, I I'm I call me old school. Call me whatever. I like I like this. I mean, if 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 I really want a game. You know, I like and I really want the like collector's edition and all that kind of stuff like that. That's I'm starting go to get away. into that. Yeah, it's I'm, 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 I'm starting. To, I'm just now starting to get into that. Metal Gear was my first ever collector's edition. I want to do more. <laughs> you know, really. You know, and 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 like I don't like the whole thing with it going this. I tr I still trade in games. I if I don't if I beat a game and I have no use for it, I don't see no point in keeping it. So I trade it in, get money off of the next game. Oh. So it, you know, it's it's. I, I don't like this, you know, going discless. I mean, it is cool uh, for me to load up some of them because there, there are some games um, that I will download digitally, you know, because I, I like that. I know that I won't trade them in. Grand Theft Auto, for example, Last of Us, Metal Gear is another one of them. I got digital as well. Um, so, I mean, it's 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 definitely something I don't want to see go away. I, I, can, I get you know, moving to the future, you know, you know, br bringing it forward and, and, and moving on with new technology. But me, me, just me being a gamer and, and I think a lot of people, this has kind of been proven already. I, I, I think I've seen a lot of studies being done that, that this games are still being bought over digital games. Um, you oh, know, yeah. but you know what? When but the content company control, starts, Carol, yeah, we, we, I, Goken is, I think he's content on the control is the biggest part. The biggest push for it is content control. Remember, like, um, you, you got everyone has PlayStation. So, Navia, remember anytime you tried to play like your MP4s, it was watching your audio and it said, hey, this movie that you're watching has audio from, from a certain thing. You're not, you know, it's illegal, you know, and it would stop you from being able to play the audio on your. It's all about content control, right? Yeah, so, but, you know, with that, it's like if the gaming industry decides to say, hey, we're going to make a change, a revolution, we're going to change how we distribute. Whether we like it or not, they are the gatekeepers. However, they mm -hmm. want to sell you their product, they're gonna change and we're it. We're gonna have to move forward with it. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to see the gaming industry move away from physical media. I mean, I I, I like digital content as much as the next man. But mm -hmm. when it comes when it comes to games and gaming, I mean, you know, I don't know of any other media that you can get collectors editions where you get you know more you know bang for your buck when, when it comes to gaming you know you mm -hmm. get you get a lot of stuff when it comes to that and, and you know if you're a fan of a specific franchise or mm -hmm. you like having something physical it, it, you know collectors out there want their their collection to be to be mm -hmm. seen i don't want it to i don't want to show you my collection on my mm -hmm. tv you know mm -hmm. i want to show you my collection on my shelf i want yeah, to you know, know what nintendo's think doing right amiibos think about this they probably yeah. know but, this oh, hold, hold on hold on hold on uh, 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 to control everything, I'm gonna give on your knees the floor, then Nelson, and then any alibis afterwards. I gotta give everybody a chance. Go to Kissimmee's comment. See, here's the collector's edition Dark Souls tool. Nice case. You open it up. I get, I get a download code. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't care about Sean because I already got it. And look, one soundtrack, no game disc. This is the future collector's editions. You don't get the digital. Oh, wait, here, let me hold it up higher. You don't oh. get the copy anymore. They'll just give you a download code. So you'll have your physical case with no physical game in there. They are doing better, I will say, because I remember when collector's edition consoles were, were, were doing their thing last gen, and they never used to put the actual disc. They used to give a physical, like a code. Oh, yeah. And now yeah. now this gen, I don't know what it is, but all the collector's editions I've seen have That's come with a physical disc. Probably too many people complaining, because I, I, I was upset when I didn't get my game in here. I thought I was getting a physical disc too, just like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, but you know what? I wanted to add, 
if they completely go disc less going in the future, they need to allow for online trade-ins. I'll give up DRM oh, yeah. to a game that I have that I don't play anymore. I wish I could trade my Sunset oh. Overdrive digital so but that not, I could get another game. It's not good for the business. Tra so trade-in always happen. hurt the business. No, no, it's even if I don't get numbers. full price, at least give me something where I'm, I don't feel like, oh, well, shit. Well, think no. about this. If you, don't have to, if you can't trade games anymore, when, then the when cost you, needs to come you down. Will you publish your sales numbers? Those are your actual sales numbers. All they got to count is the initial sale. That, yeah, that's but it. guess what? Guess what? They lose money when you go trade your game in after you're done with it, and the next person just goes buys their used game. It doesn't count towards somebody buying the game. They don't right. get more money from that. Yeah. Hey, that's their fault for like you know, no, possibly it's, getting it's, ready. Yeah, it's their change. fault. And guess what? They're going to fix that. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll see. I, I, that's just a suggestion I would like yeah, to put well, out. I, I want to trade my Sunset Overdrive. I haven't freaking played it since me, Noop, and Shinwar tried it. And Steam is doing. Got, you should have did what Steam's doing. You got 14 days, and you can return your. But uh, you phone. can't do it on PS4 oh. and Xbox. Well, they're, no? they're setting the pace for it. Stop yeah. whining. Uh, ah. I, I, I will give you. I'll give you the answer when it's my turn, Alex. About okay, matter of fact. Yeah, well, 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 Chris, well, are you going to get the finish? Actually. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You, guys, you guys are Leroy Jenkins and me. I should have used that sound effect, but um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But um, yeah. So it all amounts to shit. I forgot. I forgot my point now. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, the way to stop whining. <laughs> Yeah, yes. like discipline. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Quiet. Stop quiet. whining. There we go. Uh, oh, back to the original point, though. Uh, I think going uh, with... I don't think they'll go completely media-less. Uh, they might go with a, some type of flash drive. Uh, they should be cheaper. The drives themselves should be cheaper to produce because there's no moving parts, and they should be much more durable than the disk drives. So they'll have uh, less turnover in terms of products being returned. Uh, which probably would have helped or hurt overall sales because we don't know Alex went through 37 PlayStation 2s way back in the day. <sighs> wow, Alex. Jesus Christ. What happened? That, that that was inflated numbers. It was only seven. Well, damn, seven? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, tell You're Sony to build a better product. I felt that's how they were getting like these sales because some of the, the dum-dums, like I woke up. They were like, oh, PS2 is always selling, selling because people are repurchasing new systems because they don't want to wait to send this I, stuff I, back. I tell you what, Alex, I dropped mine from five feet on the concrete and it still worked just fine. I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't know what to tell you either. You just suck so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I do think. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, Alex. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. I do I'm okay. done. He actually <laughs> got it now. And, and. Oh, Thank you. All right. <laughs> but uh, are you done with your point, Chris? So I can give Nelson. Yeah, I got oh, And then the rest of the stuff will, will be on the director's cut. But uh, okay, so you're done. Nelson, your thoughts. Okay, let me try to make it as quick as possible. Noob is no longer a part of the podcast because he his computer just shitted on him. It died. So he's uh, he no longer did, a part he did, of the call. He, yeah, he did say he, the thunderstorm S down there. So that that's that. Uh, shout out to NGO Snake who's in the chat right now. Yeah, I'm reading his comments. Talking about how he has a 100 megabyte hard drive. What the fuck? Like, seriously? 100 megabytes to me is like wiping my ass with toilet paper. Don't bring have, that up. Like, I haven't had 100 like megabytes since I was in grade uh, school. Nine. <laughs> yeah. you know, 99, more like 1989. What are you smoking? Yeah, like... <laughs> Holy crap. But uh, to talk about this uh, with the diskless uh, media or just uh, storage in general, they're basically trying to control all content. That's yes. the reason why that they're going about this route. So just in case, like, if um, you buy their, their product online digitally, they have every single right to tell you, hey, you're renting our product. We can do whatever the fuck we want with it, even take it back. And you can't Ooh. do a goddamn thing about it. Yep. Ooh. So that's been done numerous times before. Yes. And look what happened to Microsoft for trying that. And they, look how they got crucified with this. Well, you know. technically, they're still doing it now. And also, Sony is doing it too. It's an optional outlet for people who believe that. Let's say for me, for an example, right now, I am going that route slowly because I have a lot of equipment in my room. And I'm trying to condense it in some form of way or another by getting more storage space and sacrificing the, uh, the money yeah. for it to consume consolidate my you know the stuff i have in my house so it's it will be easier for me 
but their uh, potential thing with it is that the games will run faster, less mm. load times, and so on. So they try to give you all the positives. Well, of course, what they won't tell you is that they own everything when you purchase it <coughs> digitally. And again, they can take you to, to court even if, like, let's say the game don't work. They'll be like, hey, we, we have it on this physical dotted line that you paid for our digital content, and we can change it at will at any given time. So you will lose that battle instantaneously mm. unless... Unless, I don't want to really put this out there, but if you live in Europe or your region is in Europe, you can refund any digital content. Or, yeah, yeah, I was trying to, I, sure that's can. what I wanted to mention yes. earlier. Yes, you, you have can. to live in Europe if you want to do that. Yeah, you can re refund any digital content. And I have known some people who did live in America, I won't say their names, but they have been successful at returning all their digital stuff, even um, pre-order digital content that you put the voucher code in. They mm. even got money back on that. But my now, why don't we have that here? Well, it, money reasons. Money, okay. money reasons. Stricter and, consumer protection laws over there. Yeah. That's right. And okay. if for me to say yay or nay on it, I will say I am nay for it because I don't want no one controlling my content that I have used my own money to purchase. Okay. So I do agree with the majority of the, the group, and I would like to still have physical content unless I make the decision to go, you know, discless and put it on like storage mm -hmm. you know what i wanted to make a comment uh snake made a good point he says that you know uh physical media over time could degrade uh and, yes. and could expire you know so that's another thing unless that... it's m-disc or unless it's something like m-disc or something like that it'll cost you a little more money but mm. wait what was the thing that he mentioned earlier just give me one second to scroll it because he he mentioned something that just like what it, it takes a while for physical media to expire it takes roughly like it, a disc kept in relatively good condition takes about 35 to 40 years to expire from disc rot. So, mm -hmm. right now, this is what he <laughs> mentioned on the the chat. Most of uh, most are in. It, uh, okay, that doesn't even make any sense. I'll just say most of the industry consists of people that are playing video games here and there, as he quotes. Hardcore, yeah, ga hardcore gamers are a dying race. If that were true then this so-called PC Master Race will be done. Mm. There's no such thing as the hardcore fan base diminishing. It's only rising because you see more people right. getting into the PC side of things like, oh, I get to customize it to the point where I can make the game physically better and run better than it did on actual console. Wait, mm. who said that now? Snake. It's Snake. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's in the chat. You because, know, shout out to him. Right, because this is the, probably the only time you will hear me defend the PC side of things. Probably the only time. So you really can't say, like, hardcore games are, like, a dying breed or they will die because they will get overrun by casual gamers. If it wasn't for the hardcore gamers influencing people, oh, yo, you could do this on the PC, you could stream on this brawlic-ass PC, you can do all this crap on PC, people wouldn't even be able to fathom the shit we do now, such as streaming and so on. This is true. This is true. And I am done. Now you can go about your alibis of... Alright, so what we're going to do, New Gaming Order, um, I'm going to give the guys to, uh, a chance to go at it in the pit with uh, rebuttals. If you guys remember what uh, you wanted to say, we'll put that in the director's cut. I'm going to end this segment right here. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on NewGamingOrder.com. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Any donations would help. And uh, with that, Nelson, anything to wrap up this topic? Well, I, I'm completely done with it. I already said my piece on about the whole thing. I just don't know if anyone else had like a little bit more of um, stuff to add on to this particular topic. If we on do, the director's cut, yeah. If we do, we'll save it for the director's cut. But you know what I would like for you guys to do as the fans of the show, please comment seriously, even a video response. I want you to. Let us know what do you think of the future of gaming is going to become. Do you think that we're still going to be with physical media so we have something to hold on to as I bought this with my own money and it's technically mine now and I have control of yeah. what I do? Or do we want to portray of what the market is going to do to us and have us all go digital and they control us as the future of online blockbuster? Now you know what? I want to. I want to say one thing. Remember what happened to that um, PSN user? This is just to wrap things up. Uh -huh. That PSN user who got his account hacked. Oh, okay. Charges, and you see how Sony went into his console, took all his shit, took all his digital shit, right? 
had to fight to try and get it back and Sony said that I will not give you this money back until you pay for what the hacker made charges on. Right, I'm, because I'm it's, not because I'm not digital. comfortable. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with someone having that much control over what I so called uh, paid for. But again, that was also an issue that was happening in America. So of course, Sony America, as we would call it, would say that as a customer service response. Now, if this was done in the UK. He would have got a shit ton of money back. Oh my god. Well, with that, New Game in Order, we're bringing this segment to an end. For those of you who are watching us live, uh, the director's cut's going to be interesting. So, with that, peace. See you on the next one.